This broken dam in Ukraine might unleash a nuclear tragedy. Kakhovka Dam is located on Dnipro River. For long, the river has separated Russian and Ukrainian forces. And both sides have threatened to destroy it since the war began. Now, it has been. Ukraine is accusing Russian forces of blowing up the dam. Зовні обстрілами фізично і це нереально. Вона була замінована, замінована саме російськими окупантами і підірвана ним. Even its allies are calling out Russia for committing a war crime. The Geneva Conventions have banned targeting of dams in war as it could pose a lot of danger to civilians. Hungering. Now our intelligence agencies are looking into into this. Um, but you wouldn't expect me to get ahead of the evidence, but obviously we'll share what we can when we can. But in the meantime, we're very clear that we've seen Russia use false flag operations in the past, uh, and we expect them to do so uh, in the future. Any attack, deliberate attack on civilian infrastructure would be a war crime. Russia, in response, is accusing Ukraine of destroying the critical infrastructure. The Kremlin said Ukraine did it to distract attention. Предпринятая Киевом преднамеренная диверсия против объекта критической инфраструктуры носит крайне опасный характер и, по сути, может быть отнесена к разряду военных преступлений или террора. The broken dam has unleashed a fury of water that has flooded cities. Around 17,000 people had to be evacuated. Розпочалася евакуація мешканців на безпечних районах. Всі служби працюють. ДСНС, поліція, військові всі поруч. Прошу зібрати документи і речі першої необхідності і чекати автобусів евакуації. Кремо звертаюсь до мешканців лівого берега. The Kakhovka Dam supplies water to many places. These include Ukraine's agricultural land as well as Zaporizhia nuclear plant. The dam water is used to cool down the plant. Russia clarified that the plant is not in danger for now. However, our current assessment is that there is no immediate risk to the safety of the plant. In the middle of an already intense war, this destruction is an added humanitarian disaster. A new disaster in a war that does not seem to end. Today's tragedy is yet another example of the horrific price of war on people. The floodgates of suffering have been overflowing for more than a year, and that must stop. Attacks against civilians and critical civilian infrastructure must stop.